All right, we are live with stars from the Royal Rumble here in town this weekend. This is a huge, huge event. The fact that the Rumble is here in Houston, that's good enough. But the fact that it's over at Minute Maid Park, which is normally, you know, baseball, Astros, all that kind of stuff, it's awesome the fact that the Royal Rumble is going to be there, which is something that uh, WWE has been doing of late with their uh, Royal Rumble event. And we've got Samoa Joe and Johnny Gargano in studio with us. Oh, and my lovely wife, Hi, I'm part of. I'm part of the pleasure train here. Yeah, we're doing this Hi. like, we don't usually do it this way. We usually kind of uh, do it separately, but uh, we're going to do a husband and wife affair today. Well, we thought it'd be fun to have everyone in the same room so we can have a ginormous big conversation about it. I know people are going to watch us on social and... It's I didn't know there was going to be a pleasure train. I'm, I'm it's really excited. It's a pleasure train. Yeah, this See, is, we just, this there's awesome. always a pleasure train here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've already scared a winner for tickets today. That yeah, was I did. awesome. Before. Yeah, he shouldn't have gave his yeah. address that loudly. That was... <laughs> well, he did. I was like, are you a big fan of Samoa Joe? And he was like, ah, well, And then he nah. took more than five seconds to really answer yeah. that. So I think we know what we need to do. So it's good. Well, <laughs> hey, it was, hey, cool, to be though. fair to yeah. him. He said you were cool. Yeah, yeah he was he's very cool. Yeah, I said my grandpa's cool. All right. He was born in 1993. He's a young. Yeah. But you've been a heel for so so much of your career that when people are, hey, do you like Samoa Joe? No. He's a bad guy. You know, you've gotten I that a I, lot, I haven't you? I booed you. I booed you at yeah, a couple I, events. I, I, I know oh, people no. have. I, can feel, I, I, I sensed it when I walked in here. It's very... <laughs> I like the heels. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I want know you to hit do. people with chairs. I want you to. But she the, gets it. You know all I'm, of that. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, I can be a terrible person at times. But you know, I, I, I you know, I, didn't, I just didn't think Houston Tony was so judgmental. You know, I just thought this was more free thinking <laughs> town. But uh, yeah, I, you know, and listen, I, 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 I do what I do well, and I appreciate that. So uh, yeah, it wasn't a uh, uncommon response when people are asked if they like me or not. <laughs> what What is that like when you meet your fans? Because that's the cool thing about you guys. You're accessible. I mean, you're sitting here today. We're going to put this on social. So yeah, people I, would, can I actually... normally would never sit here with somebody like you. You're right. I'm very <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, both you guys, what's the reaction you get You know, from fans? Is it based on how your character is at any given time? Or are they just happy and just kind of starstruck yeah, to meet you guys? I mean, they're guys? pretty excited normally. I think me and Joe are kind of polar opposites, though, in that sense. Right. right. I, I am the, the consummate... Uh, uh, personable, relatable, good, good guy. I yeah, guess. yeah. Johnny has wonderful yeah. fans. Very, very, <laughs> very, very nice polite. To me. Very nice gifts. to me. I don't know about Joe. I fight every fourth yeah. one, basically, pretty <laughs> yeah. much. So it's just it, you know, it works out that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a fist fight for you, huh? Uh, now, you know, I, I was, there are some passionate fans who. Uh, Kind of get lost in it, and then they will be uh, a little rowdy out there. But for the most part, I mean, I, we're really fortunate. Uh, you know, a good the, the the better portion of our fans are awesome, and it's always great to meet them. So I put it out on Twitter that you guys were going to be in here, and somebody asked a question, and it kind of makes sense now. Meeting you in person, you could be a stand-up comedian. You've got your, like, you're hilarious. You're very funny. I try. I try. You really are. So the question they asked, it's it's uh, Ro Pimpin on Twitter. Oh, oh. Whoa. 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 That's my boy, well, by the way. Is, I know he, that guy. Yeah, Adam knows himself, everybody on off. Twitter. Uh, he said, ask Joe if he's ever going to pick, backpack, the travel vlog thing on his YouTube channel. Okay, well, he's working on sentences. That's a good start. Uh, <laughs> That's a good he sentence. was excited. No, I, yeah, I, did have, I, did, I did have a, a shortly lived a travel vlog. I was kind of you know testing the waters and stuff. Uh, but uh, there is things in the works. It's just that, you know what, guys? You know, YouTube owns all your stuff, and uh, yeah. that, that was kind of the real impetus of it. Is so that, does know, the WWE. We, yeah. So, well, for some people, but uh, you know, <laughs> but you know, we really wanted, you know, I, you know, it was really kind of a matter of that. So we're trying to work some stuff out, talking to a few people, and we, and we might go from there. Now you've been in NXT. Yes. You're in NXT. Yes. I want you to be very, very honest. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't ask this question. Yeah, you well, sure, what's you coming? Sure you, want me real well, what's coming? You, you know, NXT is its own beast. It is. I yes. mean, and and I have more than one person tell me, "Hey, man, I, I love WWE, but man, you got to go to that NXT show." So, do you guys have a preference right now, whether it was when you were there or what you see right now, as far as you know, the comparison between the two? I, I, I was part of the process this. of yeah. building, yeah. but uh, you know, and now, it, like I said, it, it is a third brand. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not a uh, developmental league. It's I'm gonna, I'm gonna say nice things about him. NXT wouldn't be what it is today without guys like Joe. And right, he's right. Agree. You know, it's true. I'll say <laughs> nice things about him. <laughs> no, but, but, but uh, I, I will say this. You know, Johnny and and and, and Tommaso and, and and several of the guys you see down on the roster now, they help make that transition to where it, where it is now a fully fledged third brand and. Uh, you know, NXT is is right up there with Raw and SmackDown. Now, the first time I went to an NXT show was at the Mania in Orlando a couple of years back. And I come home because she didn't go with me for that one. 
And I come home and I say, you've got to see this guy, Bobby Roode. His entrance is ridiculous. Because I had seen Now I remember amazing. you. The guy that didn't bring his wife. Yeah, he was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah, was but I brought her the next year. I went the, I went the following year. Thank goodness, because I, I didn't think we could have bailed them out two years in a row. <laughs> I was there. I was there last year. We were both meeting Stone Cold Steve Austin For and fanboying out. So. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a different feel. It but is. you're right. It is. A th- I love the fact. I mean, I love how much it's grown. It's a different vibe completely. Yes. Uh, it's just we have such a hardcore, passionate fan base mm-hmm. and for the longest time I, I am so sick and tired I get this question all the time like oh when are you going to go to the main roster when are you going to get out of developmental like my goal was never to leave NXT my goal was to take NXT and take it to a bigger platform now we're every Wednesday night 8pm USA Network uh, we're basically the same as Monday Night Raw you can say that as well so right. we are a viable third brand and this weekend we're excited to do something completely different with Worlds Collide have people from NXT UK uh, face off against people from NXT USA, and uh, yeah, it's just it, it's exciting times, man. I think it's exciting times for everyone, and everyone wins in this scenario. I'm gonna ask the basic bitch questions, but <laughs> who would your who would your ultimate um, who would you want to fight right now, dead or alive? Your ultimate fight, who would it be? Fight. Well, like match. fist fight. Oh, okay. Matt. Yeah, both. Uh, An- answer yeah, you should fight them if like you, you know. Who would you fight? Some... Who would you wrestle? Who would you marry? Who would you kill? No. Wow. <laughs> I mean, my, my answer is always the same. It's always Shawn Michaels, so that's kind of my go-to nice. for that one. Uh, Shawn Michaels, 60-minute Iron Man match. Oh, now, that'd, that'd be, be amazing. I'll go with Shawn Michaels now. He's, he's still he's still. He could do it. He could no, go. he, he could go with you yeah, right yeah. now for yeah, 60 yeah. minutes. 60 I guarantee minutes. it. He wouldn't want to, but right. uh, he definitely will. So, yeah. All right. I don't believe in the principles of basicness, so I'm not going to answer your question because oh. you got better in you. Be, You're not. No, 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 you, no, no, no. you live with a man who loves wrestling. I know some of that's bled over on you. No, no, no. It has. <laughs> Trust it me. Is. The whole family, all the kids involved, everyone's involved in all of it. But I, oh, that's when Charlotte was in here. I think I asked her one of the same things. I went a little basic with Charlotte, mm-hmm. and we had a great. She was fine. She was fine. Yeah, with those necessities, Do just I look being like basic. Charlotte to you. What? I love Joe, man. Joe, you, I want to take Joe. If you fought like, Charlotte, out. I think she'd give you a good run for your money. She would. She she, she can me. flip way better than you. She Woo! can. She can. She's good at flipping. Let me tell you that. <laughs> By the way, we should uh, differentiate between the fact that uh, NXT Worlds Collide is going to be at Toyota Center, yes. yep. and that's going to be night. Saturday night. Yep. So you can get great seats available at uh, ToyotaCenter.com, and then of course the Rumble is the next night at Minute Maid Park. slash rumble So in case you guys, for whatever reason, don't have your tickets already, those are where you need to go to get to the respective shows. Now, you'll be at that one. You'll be ringside, right? Yes. We're going to be, I mean, my boy Daniel over here, I got to give him props. Uh, we've got fantastic seats for the uh, for the Rumble right there on the floor, but there's not a bad, I, I've looked at the setup, there's not a bad seat no. for this kind of venue. And you wouldn't always be able to say that because it's a big place. A huge place. But I think that kind of uh, works to our advantage, obviously. Uh, yeah. You know, we can get uh, fans down there on the field next to the ringside. So, uh, you know, there's really great... Uh, Really great views no matter where you are in the building. Absolutely. <laughs> and big screens Huge to help screens, out. screens, yeah. <laughs> and one thing about Texas, you guys do the TVs right. <laughs> do you, hey, do you like, uh, do you have preferences as far as crowds? And you can obviously play to the home crowd here, but, you know, Houston's a hotbed for wrestling. It has been it since is. the and, Coliseum and, and, days. And you do. You find these, like, these hotbeds of wrestling fandom. A lot of them, you know, usually there's, there's a lot of territorial history as yes. far as wrestling goes. And obviously... Houston, Dallas, this whole area is, you know, it was Von Eric country at one time. And, um, Sportatorium up and in Dallas. And, and, there, and there's, there's like, you know, there's uh, these family traditions of going to see wrestling. And, and uh, you see that kind of played out today. I mean, you know, I, I know when we go to the building tomorrow, there'll be, you know, four different generations of wrestling fan there. And, uh, you know, it's always great to see that. And, and, and Texas and Houston, for the most part, has always been one of those hotbed places. Johnny, are you going to be on this WWE watch along? Like, can we watch you watching? Yes, you everything can watch for the Royal me Rumble? watching the Royal Rumble. We're going to watch you watch, watch it. That's me pretty cool. It. Yes, it is. It, I like. I've done a few watch alongs, and it's 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 just another form of, I guess, another platform just to be seen, and another thing. Like people love content nowadays. Content, yes. content, content. Content is king, and you can watch me watch the Royal Rumble. And I think that's pretty cool because last year I was in the Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble is my favorite pay-per-view. It was my favorite growing up. I always look forward to it every single year. And I'm I'm excited to watch it as a fan this year. It's kind of different when you're in it. It's just you can't really enjoy it that much. Uh, so I'm going to enjoy watching Joe. Uh, enjoy watching <laughs> hopefully a lot of different surprises. Like That's the most important thing and the most exciting thing about the Royal Rumble is you never know what can happen. So were you both fans growing up? I mean, I know it sounds like a dumb question, but some people get started late. So were you watching some of the earlier Rumbles? Because I've got some my Some would say favorite. that's a basic question. Yeah, but I, yeah, I want to know. Some would. Some really I mean, would. Some, some would say the they'd studio. be disappointed how basic the question was. Uh, 
Uh, but you know what? Uh, it's, yeah, that's it's pretty basic. Go ahead, Johnny. I don't know if I want to answer that one. Yeah, so Johnny, can you answer the basic question? Yeah, the basic question. Joe's I will difficult. handle the basic question. Okay. Okay. Leave all the complex now questions. Now I see why you're more likable. See, yeah. Yeah. see I told you. Relatable, likable. This is I'm all becoming more and more of a Joe we, fan by the second. We're going to buy you a gift. We're going to Amazon something you. We're about your green room, all right? The lobby? Yeah. But, I mean, was there one? Did was there you, one like one of your early Ro- Royal Rumble memories? Yes, um, it's gonna because I've got one too. I just want to mine make sure. is 1996. That's my okay. favorite Royal Rumble. I remember in particularly that I had an infection in my finger, and I uh, I went to the doctor and they di- they gave me like uh, prescription medicine. They said like you need to take these pills. Okay, and I didn't take pills back then because I was like I was like eight years old. I was like I don't want to take pills because I'm gonna choke and die and stuff like that. It's like uh, our daughter. So my parents said if you don't take your medicine, if you don't take your pills, you're not allowed to watch. The Royal Rumble tonight. So I was just sitting in my room freaking out because I could hear the pre show starting. I'm, oh. like, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. It's a motivation. And I hear the pre show starting and I hear like Shawn Michaels giving his like Owen Hart talking about his. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to miss this Royal Rumble. <laughs> then I like run in the bedroom and I grab the pills and I jump them down my mouth and I drink it and my parents are happy and I watch the Royal Rumble and I watch Shawn Michaels win. That's then, like the whole parent throwing the kid into the lake to yeah. get them to swim. That's, yeah, that was just, pills for yeah. you. Adam, I Adam, what's, your, what's your memory? Of? I liked, okay, so I, I'll never forget 1991, uh, Sensational Sherry comes out, mm-hmm. and she's being interviewed by me and Gene Oakland, rest in peace, well, to all of them, by the way, uh, and the Warrior comes out, and she, he's not going to give Macho Man a title match, mm-hmm. so the Macho Man comes out, interferes with the Sergeant Slaughter Ultimate Warrior match, and that set up the, uh, the WrestleMania 7, which some people say they don't like WrestleMania 7, but that's my sweet spot, because that's when I started watching. I was like 10, so, but I've watched them all since then, obviously. So, Joe, you don't, you're not going to do it? Uh, yeah, a rumble memory? Yeah. So, last year, I came out. <laughs> we got and, him. Uh, we got him. Man. Let me tell you, I was it, awesome. It was his <laughs> entrance. Yeah. yeah, I walked out the there. My best. music was playing. People were like, Joe, Joe. I was like, I know I'm here. And then uh, Johnny was there. <laughs> yep, I was there. Uh, he tried to jump <laughs> on me. I jumped uh, and you moved out of the way. You it walked. Did, it did not work out Nonchalantly for him. out the Nonchalantly. way. Nonchalantly. And then, He's slightly uh, not as large as Jose you. Jose came yeah. out with the worst, most uncoordinated conga line in the history of the world. Uh, <laughs> Harry Belafonte spun in his grave. And then... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I eliminated him, and uh, yeah, that was pretty much my fondest Rumble memory. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it was really good. It Be really honest, good. when your when your theme song hits, you have to have that face, you know, the stoic face. Yeah. But in your mind, you're going, Joe, Joe. Oh, it's Joe, it's, it's Joe. on in my head. Let me. Tell I love you, it. It's lit, fam. Let me. Tell you, it's going. <laughs> it is going Joe crazy. Just lit back yeah, wow. in my yeah, head. Just did. That's amazing. <laughs> Do you have any? What about predictions? Can you give us predictions on like um, Becky Lynch and um, she? Well, she's fighting for the Raw Women's Championship. Uh, Becky Lynch I, I, Oscar, is for the win. She's think, one of my favorites. I think Oscar's favorites. got her number. Oh, I think Oscar's Chris got her number. Thick. She is a the man's very, not going to be happy about that. Yeah, I know. I know they ain't going to be happy about man's it. But I'm here around. to make you happy. What about I'm here my to boy, tell you the truth, people. What about my boy Roman Reigns? <laughs> your boy Roman With Reigns King, and King Corbin. He's from my hometown, but I'm a Reigns fan. Oh, you from I'll your hometown? Get booed can I just, all day. Can I just tell you? We took a picture with him one time. You know what she said to me as we were walking back to the car? He sweated on me. He's he was a no 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 no. Swear. Besides the creepy part of it, True he's story. a very nice guy. Oh yeah, he was a very. Wait, cool wait, guy. give me the creep. No, we hold said, on, you can't now. Hold on, baby no, no, bird, no. you can't throw that we little took- nugget of wisdom of creepiness and then just glaze yeah, yeah, over yeah. it. You didn't have to lead with the creepy. Yeah, Adam. yeah. I thought uh, it was, he was funny. A really nice guy. It was funny. We took, <laughs> we took a picture with our daughter, and she was so we had a. It's somebody on some fan site. They were like, "Look at, uh, look at Roman and his wife and his kid," and it went like oh, viral. Yeah. I was like, Twitter That's ate it hilarious. up. And I'm uh, not in the picture, so I yeah. thought it was really hilarious. Yeah. So we're kind of married in a weird way. We never look good in a family photo. We yeah. have a connection. Uh, so Roman Reigns or King Corbin? Who do you Ooh. think? I don't know. Cor- Corbin's got some, Corbin's really feeling him. Says so big KC Cheese fan, so he thinks it's rubbing off on him. She's a KC native. I'm from Kansas City. So you know the deal. You know her the deal. mom's a fanatic. Him. Don't care though. Yeah. And uh, but you know what? Uh, you know Rome, Roman's. Uh, he, you know he always pulls it on the end. I'm. I'm. I'm I think I'm thinking more Roman. So Seamus, uh, Seamus and Chad Gable. Seamus, I love watching, but he's so pasty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's so yeah. much white yeah, happening. Isn't his, yeah. Pigment isn't his thing. Has all. anybody ever suggested a spray tan? No, for... no, you can't. Uh, so we tried once, <laughs> and uh, the actual the gleam from his skin melted. It was crazy, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. It was like watching like unlike anything you'd ever seen. It was yeah. like watching eggs fry. You put it on, it, <laughs> and then it just melts off him. I don't know what I'm doing, fella. It won't work, you know. So like, you know, we left it at that. It was, you know, we're still, we're still, bad. we're still looking into scientific options. We're trying to figure out how to do it. It's a lot. It's a lot. Like you need sunglasses. I love him. I love him. I'm just. 
I'm being funny. I'm just <laughs> I'm looking over the matches here right now and and uh, oh our boy Braun Strowman. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love Braun Strowman. Yeah. I do. Do you really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I like him yes. a lot. Yes. Okay. And All we've right. met him many times, so like he's. You've met him many times. Well, yeah. Do you still love him? I. <laughs> I interviewed him one time, and then we, we met him at the same night that we met Roman. He very did not cool. sweat on her. Oh, so that was the cool. difference. Very cool. No, no but it was. Uh, I, I love. Uh, I love the fact that he's so like just over the top and kind of like you in a way. A touch. A the touch. Bi- the bullies. The bu- yeah. I like the bullies. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Well, I'm not so TV. much a bully as just you know I just I live in the real world where I rule and nobody else does. <laughs> It's just <laughs> big difference, big difference. Uh, but yeah, Braun, Braun, Braun's definitely one of the big personality, big guy, and uh, you know it's not too far from the truth there. I mean, he's uh, he's about as big and loud as they, as, as comes advertised. So uh, he's he's a lot of fun. Good stuff. Well, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be amazing. Anything else that you're forgetting before we go? You want to no, get in there? No, I'm good. All right, I'm good to go. I'm wanting I'm wanting that YouTube channel though. I know that they own your stuff, but you need to do, you need to definitely be doing more stuff. Yeah, we're we're working on it. We're working I think on I it. think I think I'm a fan now. I, I booed you it. a couple times, but I think I'm it's a fan. So easy to, I know. It, it rolls off the tongue nicely every time you say a boo, you know, Joe, boo, but you know, maybe you can say, maybe you can cheer a little bit this weekend. We I'll cheer a little bit for you this weekend. <laughs> we're fans of both of you. Obviously, uh, NXT Worlds Collide coming up on Saturday night. That'll be at Toyota Center. You can get tickets at toyotacenter.com. And then the Rumble, the big, big time, the Royal Rumble, coming up at Minute Maid Park the following night, Sunday night, astros.com slash rumble to get your seats. And there are plenty of good ones still available. Uh, it's going to be a packed house, though, and we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Joe, Johnny. You guys were spectacular. Good luck this weekend. Have a blast here in our fair city and uh, come back again soon. Awesome. Thank Definitely you. Will. Thank Thanks, you guys, guys so much.